It's good to see you. Good to be here. All Thank good. you for having me. Yeah, all good, brother. Well, look, feels like you've arrived. Over a hundred games for yeah. the team you grew up supporting. What does that feel like for you? It feels like I've arrived. Uh, I've been around the team now since I was 17 and 18. I'm in the team. I'm playing well. So yeah, I'm enjoying my time. Is there a, a highlight from from the games in in a, in a red shirt? I think the obvious one that everybody says is the Everton goal um, when you know I've scored in, in, in the far court corner and of course you know I was a scouts kid, I was young, um, it's a derby so it's seen as like a big game, it's an important game. Reminder of our top story, Jurgen Klopp leaving Liverpool at the end of the season after almost nine years. He says he doesn't have the energy levels required to give his maximum to the role. Where were you when you found out and what were those initial emotions like? We was in the cha changing rooms as as uh, my team, I was actually inside the gym and we got told, oh, yeah, everybody has to be inside um, at half ten. And then he came in as a bit of a strange one. Um, like, we didn't know what was going to be said, but I could feel Something. like amongst the lads it was a little bit strange. He broke the news. Um, it was tough to, to uh, take and stuff. Um, but yeah, he's, he's his own man. You have to respect the fact that he's got his own things that he wants to go and do with his family and stuff. And he's turned me from a boy to a man. I'm grateful for, for, for him and so are the team and so are the fans and, and the city. So um, and we'll um, hope to give him a good send off. Well, look, uh, still top of the league, but yeah. Arsenal, a game that was a massive one. Mm -hmm. How do you reflect on that? It's part of the game. Um, it's not like we're going to turn up there and just wipe our hands with, with, with them. You know, they're a top team who on form as well, uh, they're doing well, they know that and that they're chasing us of course. What we're seeing so much more this season, a bit of feistiness has come back into the Premier League, whether it's Instagram posts, people stealing celebrations. Uh, Madison did in his interview post-game with TNT said that I just said to him he hasn't scored enough goals of his own in the last few years <laughs> to have his own celebration, yeah. so he had to copy mine. Uh, short story, ended well for us. Uh, Mope responded, um, um, well, here it is. They can keep all the Instagram stuff for me. <laughs> listen, I'll but, speak from, from myself. Listen, I don't really care yeah. about the Instagram stuff. But we um, all saw Arsenal celebrations after. Lots being made of it. I know you're a competitive guy. What yeah, did you listen, think uh, that's you why I've it? got to just sh shut it all down. But in a respectful way, I'd say, um, you know, the celebrations and all that is all nice. Um, but at the end of the day, there's still pl plenty of games to their goal. You know, where. Uh, top of the league. For many years, you know, we've always been a team that, you know, the, our fans have spoken, spoken about and the gaffer himself, you know, the way he yeah. fist pumps the, the um, fans and stuff, that's kind of like our thing. So if they want to be st stealing our stuff, then it shows that we're on the right path and that we've got the easy copying us. But, you know, they, they, they can have their, or teams, I'm not going to just say yeah. one team, but yeah, they can have their, their um, moments and stuff but there's a long way to go there's plenty of games last time you were battling on four fronts came home with two trophies yeah. so if i could offer you the efl and the fa cup now nah, for the season that's not enough. what are we saying i mean yeah i'll take it but for us don't think anything less than our four that we're in um of course we're in with a good chance it'll be tough but why not